hello, how are you? I'm very well, thank you. Yourself? Great, I'm great. Um, what are you most excited about today? Uh, I'm most excited about one, to see the film, two, to see my kids' faces, because they've not stopped talking about it all week, uh, and then hear about it for about a week after. So yeah, I'm excited to, to, for the whole experience, so I can't wait. I'm a big kid. <laughs> Would you ever do Panto? Because obviously you were a traitor at one point. I've been asked a lot to be a villain in a Panto, and I think at some point I'm going to have to do it at some point. So yeah, absolutely, I would, I would consider it 100%. Have you seen many Pantos in the past? I've seen a few, but a lot more um, since last year and getting involved in a lot more. I've started doing acting and stuff like that now. So yeah, I'm, um, I'm looking forward to seeing quite a few over the next few months. So, so obviously it's been quite an exciting year for you with the traces and everything. Would, so regarding the traces, would, if you could go back to it, would you? is there anything you would change? Yeah, it's a good question, it's, and it's one I get asked very rarely, to be fair. So, 100%, I would go back to it. I think it would be a very different game if I did go back, because I had a good gameplay in Series 1, but obviously we were quite emotional. We didn't know what we were doing, really. Uh, we sort of fumbled our way through that. But yeah, if I went back, I would tweak my game plan and not get so emotionally involved this time and stick to, stick to the plan. <laughs> How does it feel that, like, you guys have won a BAFTA, like, and other numerous awards. How does that feel? I think that the team behind Studio Lambert, BBC, I mean, the production, every, that show worked because everyone brought something to the table, not just the cast, the production, all the hard-working people in the background, and it just it just worked really well. Yeah, I mean, this year I was up against the Queen in TV Moment of the Year, so I'm, I'm going to dine off that for the rest of my life. So, yeah, TV Moment of the Year. I, uh, it's, been a, it's been crazy. I go for a meal deal at lunchtime and people asking me for selfies, so it's, it's been a bit strange. Yeah, but uh, it's all good love and it's all positive, so I love it. I mean, that was iconic when you called out Will in a slight. It was a. It, you didn't fully call him out, but it was a bit slight, as in a good way. Yeah. Um, would you change that, or would you? Or are you glad you did it? I, I, 100%. I wouldn't change it because it made my moment on the show, and I think no one really saw that moment coming. And it was a jump off your TV moment, a jump off your sofa moment. So it is quite a. And I had so many messages around it. Uh, I don't think. It can never be replicated. I don't think you could ever deliver it in the way uh, to have that impact at that exact moment. So it's a complete one-off. Um, and it, yeah, I don't know how it'd ever be replicated. So yeah, I would have a different game plan, but I certainly wouldn't do it again because that was it. It was, it was a moment in time, and that was it. So, are you glad the Faithfuls won, or you, would you have liked to have seen a Tracer win? Because obviously, Tracers like they go through way more emotions than the Faithful would. That's a really, really good question. So, if I was a traitor at the beginning, or maybe slightly earlier. Then and if you would have combined as a team, then I would have loved. I think the traitors have just as hard a journey, but the faithfuls are. I think it's a little bit harder because the paranoia kicks in. You can work as a team more as the traitors. Um, so split really. I think no one really didn't deserve to win there. I think everyone that went on that show deserved to win in one way, one 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 way or another because of how much we all gave to the show. But yeah, ultimately there has to be a winner. Um, I'm glad the faithfuls won in this particular scenario. But certainly the tra the, uh, the traitors did did deserve to win as well. So it was, um, and I, I was a traitor as well at the end, unfortunately for me. But yeah, it was. Uh, I just loved the whole concept of the game. Um, I'm really excited to see what happens in series two. All the people think they're going in with amazing game plans. We'll see how that pans out. Um, because no matter what game plan you have, every single hour of the day, the whole game shifts and moves and you have to move and adapt with it. And it's purely down to a little bit of luck as well, really to survive so I'm excited to see what happens in number two if they ask you back would you go back onto it 100% it's changed my life I would love to go back um, maybe in a few years if they've done an all stars there was talks about bringing some Australian cars I, mean, I think that would work if you picked a few of us from each each show and then threw us in I think that would be fireworks because some are traitors some are faithful uh, some are really good at the game there's some really strong contestants from America and Australia and other parts of Europe as well um, I think it's in 26 countries now so I think yeah I'd like it all stars absolutely and I would relish the opportunity to be involved in that definitely um, so what are your Christmas plans this year Christmas plans are work is just starting to wind down a little bit now so I'm really looking forward to trees going up tomorrow we are in full-blown Christmas mode from tomorrow onwards uh, I'm looking forward to having a really nice Christmas with my family um, and I did, we just found out the show's coming out in January now not not December so I'm sure we'll have loads of questions and, and interviews before Christmas uh, 
Um, and yeah, we'll see how it goes. So I'm looking forward to seeing it. And what would you like Santa to bring you this Christmas? I would like Santa to bring me. What just what would Santa to bring me this year? A lovely holiday somewhere because I've not had one for about a year and a half. So, <laughs> but apart from that, uh, I'm very grateful for any gifts I get. Nothing in particular. I'll probably get the usual pants and socks. So <laughs> that's it. And then lastly, I mean, you just touched on something in January. But what can we expect from you in 2024? So I've just started uh, on my acting career. So I've started taking acting lessons. I really want to get into some British films. Um, I mentioned it last time. I think we met the last time uh, in, in the summer. So I'm just sort of learning some skill sets. Uh, and then hoping to get myself a few roles in acting, either soaps or films or whatever. I've got my obviously day job and, and that's that's the key part of my life, but I'd love to do some sort of British film or, or some sort of film. That's, that's what excites me, so that's what I'd like to do. I mean, I think you'll be great. I think every time I see you, I love you. I think you're an amazing guy. So I really do wish you the best of luck for 2024. But yeah, no, Merry Christmas. Thank you, Merry Christmas too, thank you.